Do psychedelic drugs expand the mind or poison the brain? Many people have wondered whether psychedelics, drugs like LSD, magic mushrooms, and molly can be useful in treating psychiatric disorders such as PTSD. They ask whether psychedelics can restore health to an impaired brain. In other words, can these drugs be used to fix the brain, a biological machine? Some people have taken it a step further and claim that psychedelics can take normal brain function to the next level. In other words, can these drugs be used to take your brain beyond a biological machine? Can they give a boost to your mind, the fountain of consciousness, and allow humans to transcend their mechanical limitations? In their 2017 book, Stealing Fire, authors Stephen Kotler and Jamie Wheel interviewed influential and knowledgeable people. They made the case for using mind-altering chemicals to get into the zone. They explored ways to coax your brain into a flow state in which your brain and your consciousness became fully immersed in an activity and to help you achieve the full potential of your mind. More recently, Peter Thiel has invested in a company called Atai Life Sciences. In case you don't know who he is, Peter Thiel is the billionaire founder of PayPal and Palantir. He seems to have the Midas touch when it comes to investing. So his financial interest in a startup piqued my interest. And indeed, a tie seems to have made Thiel even richer than he previously was. It had its IPO in June of 2021 and was valued north of $3 billion. A big part of Atai's mission and the mission of similar companies such as MindMed and Compass Pathways is to develop psychedelic drugs, most of which are currently illegal, and get them through the regulatory approval to treat psychological disorders. It seems that the call to legalize psychedelic drugs is gaining momentum. It's only getting louder. There seems to be a three-pronged approach, allowing psychedelics for medical treatment of psychological disorders, allowing them for recreational use, and allowing them to augment the function of the mind, creating a designer brain, in other words. It's that last one, the creation of a designer brain that has me the most worried there are many rich and powerful people on board with the concept of a chemical shortcut to get your brain, your biological machi machine into the zone, a place where your mind can transcend its physical limitations. There are other ways to get your mind into a flow state, but they take a lot of hard work. Some examples are mastering meditation techniques or dedicating years of training and practice that's required to become part of an elite team. Taking some designer psychedelic drug to boost your brain is like injecting anabolic steroids to get a body by Chris Helmsworth, who played uh, Thor. And there's no such thing as a free lunch. Just like using steroids can damage the body, there is evidence that psychedelic drugs can damage your brain. Psychedelics may well become medicine one day, but they surely are poison. There is emerging evidence that the long-term use of psychedelic drugs can change the structure of your brain, as well as the function of your brain, and not for the better. Based on research conducted in 2015, scientists reported that users of psychedelic drugs suffered from personality disorders. Brain scans of drug users also demonstrated wasting away as part of the brain called the posterior cingulate cortex. This area of the brain is partially responsible for integrating your executive functions, in other words, your decision making, together with your emotions. It's not a part of the brain that you'd want to atrophy. So maybe we're getting a little ahead of ourselves as a society. Before giving in the, to the temptation to legalize every drug under the sun, we should subject them to rigorous medical scrutiny. And companies like Atai that look to profit from these types of drugs should have an ironclad, independent ethics panel in place. 
I'm Mark Argentiano, a neurosurgeon. I'd like to hear what you think. Please leave in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video, please consider liking and sharing it. Thank you.